Hello dear pilots and welcome to another episode of the Beachhead series. I am Lalo Mijares and today I want to talk to you about weather deviations and how we can fly away from them. It is very important to know which weather you can fly through and which weather you need to fly away from it. So let's take a look how that weather is going to be seen on the weather radar on the screens. Sometimes you will have to deviate from weather if you see a spot like this, for example, or like this one. And uh, this weather is going to show on the screen using the radar. So whenever the radar is uh, on any of these modes, you will have that information show on the MFD. So I will show you today how to deviate for weather and use the navigation option on the autopilot to fly away from that weather. To exemplify how this looks, here it is. That's big cloud right there. So we don't want to go through that. It's a cumulonimbus. We are crossing right now about 31,000 feet, almost 32. And those tops are even a little bit higher than that. So that red means the same like a traffic light. Stop, don't go there, okay? Now that we know which weather we need to fly away from, we need to plug the correct deviation procedures on the FMS or use the autopilot to fly away from it. So let's, let, let me show you how we can do that, but specifically using the FMS today. For example, in this case, we already turned to a um, heading on the right of course because of deviation for this weather. So uh, what I can do, right now I'm using the heading mode for that deviation, but I can, but, but I can use navigation mode as well, and I'm going to show you how. I'm going to draw using the, the joystick a line and, and I'm going to do that just um, pressing the joystick up about across the weather that I am deviating and I'm doing that right now. When I uh, push the joystick uh, that little cross is going to appear. So I'm going to select just about there in order to pass the weather off on the, to the right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use that coordinates by pressing enter and they will appear here. See? So I'm gonna select those coordinates after I'm sorry, before my bet and you will have something like this. Okay? So I'm gonna execute that and see right now the you and you you can um, disappear the cross with another enter and uh, right now the route is going to be like that. So now you can hit nav on the autopilot and it will continue to follow the route. Now for example along this route there is some weather ahead and um, we don't want to go through that. What can I do? Uh, here is another method to deviate for that. So I have a fix here and I know that some heading on on this route on this track I mean is gonna put us clear of that weather so how about if we select around after map it heading uh, let's say zero five zero so uh, um, we could do that very easy and based on map it, because that figure is already there so we can select Vet. and we need to put a uh, a radial so we're going to use 050 and then we need to specify slash some distance so this is 50 miles and we want to fly about I would say 35 miles so I'm going to put 35 and that I'm going to put it here after Mavet so there's a fix, here it is, see that? So I am going to select after Mavet this fix and then Oteca. 
and that will put me out of the weather. See? So you can use a fix, a um, radio, and then distance. And that way you can you can you can select the track away from that waypoint to deviate for weather. Very good. Today we'll learn how to identify potentially hazardous weather for the flight, and also how to deviate from it using the FMS. Also remember to ask ATC for any deviations for that weather. If it is necessary to do an immediate deviation for the safety of the flight, do it. Uh, don't wait for ATC, but advise whenever it's possible. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account, at Lalo Mijares. Also, subscribe to my channel for more Beach Jet Series videos. Remember, I'm Lalo Mijares, and fly safe. Happy landings.